Boat gang, boat gang, we don't need no wheels. All we need is blades to make our vessel squeal. <laughs> While y'all boys sitting on the hill, we be throwing bees for boat gang, for real, huh? <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I got the Pro Boat UL19 on the freaking block, all right? This is Pro Boat's 30-inch ready-to-run hydroplane. This thing is freaking bad to the Boom, son. Uh, gonna be doing a couple upgrades for the boat today. All right, we're gonna be making a, a homemade turn fin. I hit a turtle with my turn fin, got it all bent out of shape. So we're gonna make a turn fin. I'm gonna replace the four millimeter steering rod with a 2.5 millimeter carbon fiber rod to try to save a little bit of weight. And uh, I've taken the Dynamite 120 out, put a Offshore Electrics 150 ESC in the boat. I've bonded my DX5 Rugged with the boat. Um, I've got some new batteries to run in the boat today. So uh, we got Spectrum, smart technology, smart batteries. All right, 5,100C twins. Okay, we're going to be running in the boat today. All right, we ain't messing around. That's some power. That's the power to put through this boat. I've also got some 5,050C twins, but I ordered IC3 connectors. So we're going to run these uh, until I get those uh, connectors on there. So uh, stick around. Don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC. B for boat gang. Huh. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, yeah, I guess the best place to start is going to be with the steering rod. I want to see if it's going to work first. I've got an easy connector for the rudder side, all right, um, and then we'll just use the stock connector for the other side. Uh, this, this, this rod is smaller than the stock rod, so I want to see if the boot is going to seal this rod up before I get into the project okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing loosened up here get it loosened up here and get it out the boat so we can slide this guy here through and uh see if it's gonna work um i think it'll work i think it'll work it's stiff it's stiff all right it's stiff that carbon fiber is stiffer than the stainless steel and it's lighter so i think it'll freaking work i'll give you guys a measurement and we're gonna get a weight before we put the carbon fiber steering rod in the boat so Three millimeters for the stock rod, and the upgrade rod is 2.5. Okay, 2.5 for the carbon fiber. All right, the stock rod with the with the ball link on the end is 16.24 grams. All right, 16 grams. My upgraded carbon fiber rod is. Four grams, <laughs> 420, <laughs> 420 with the easy connector on it. Okay, boom. All right, now you can get these carbon fiber rods in a three millimeter rod. Okay, that way it fills out your boot. So the carbon fiber rod has some flex, but it ain't gonna break. That ain't gonna break. It has some flex. Okay, the stainless steel rod has some flex too. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I got it hooked up, y'all. I got it hooked up. All right, that's freaking ironclad. All right, that's ironclad. With the carbon fiber rod, I just grinded a little flat spot for the grub screw to cinch down on, okay, on both sides. Very, very light. Thousandth of an inch. Very light. Don't cinch down too hard with your grub screws, all right? It may crack the carbon fiber. You got to figure, this boat's made to make a right-hand turn. That's what it's designed for, okay? And when you're in a, right, a hard right-hand turn, 50 mile an hour, there's going to be a lot of pressure being put on that rudder, all right? A lot of pressure, a lot of forces, okay? When you're in a right-hand turn, the servo is pulling. It's actually pulling the rudder, all right? So you're not going to get any flex, okay? As hard as that servo will turn, it's going to turn the boat, okay? In a left-hand turn, in a left-hand turn, uh, it's a different story now. You're going to have a little bit of flex. That's the only downfall I could see by using this carbon fiber rod. But it's not going to break and it's not going to bend over time. All right. It's going to stay straight as a freaking arrow forever. All right. So that's the only weakness I see right there is that little bow in a left hand turn. Okay. And it's not even that bad. All right. It's not even that bad. All right, but I think it's freaking ironclad. Um, the boot was a little, little big, 
all right um to fix that i'm just going to take a zip tie a little small zip tie and go around the boot one one time and cinch down on it all right uh that'll seal up the water from getting in the boat okay but that's freaking bomb son that thing right there is bomb we'll see how ironclad it is all right um one of my subscribers marks boat works has sent me a goodie box all right um we're gonna open it up see what's in it okay a little mail day real quick uh mid video marks boat works he's from freaking um this is from australia all right and he's actually got a youtube channel um he's only got one video and i was his first freaking subscriber so uh he's running the 36 geico and the blackjack 42 the video is pretty good he, he did really good on the editing so i'll put a link in the description go check him out go check him out show him some love that and uh you know show him some love so uh we got ooh ooh a 4074 2000 kv sss motor okay yeah nice oh yeah oh yeah oh that thing's streamlined son oh that's pretty yes sir buddy marks hey man i appreciate it brother oh my god you the man son you the man oh this thing's bad y'all this thing is bad i don't know what i want to put it in yet i know i could put it in my delta force 35 but it might be good for the ul19 it's a 40 series motor oh probably put it in a 35 man that marks dude you're freaking awesome man i appreciate it brother that's freaking awesome thank you oh dang i thought that was uh i thought that was all he was sending we got something else now this is a surprise Let's see what we got here. Dude, that motor is pretty, y'all. What are we... Ooh! <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to say, Marks? What are you trying to say, brother? <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? Uh, this is some RC bloat Boat Blitz trim tabs for the Blackjack 42. Man, dude, that's freaking awesome. Dude, you're freaking awesome, man. Those are Those are nice. Those are really freaking nice. Wow. That's quality, man. Ooh. What you trying to say, Marks? My blueprint job ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't ironclad. What are you trying to say, man? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. What a surprise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh my god, is there something else in here? Oh, the cooling jacket. Nice. Ooh, and it matches the blue oh yeah yeah you guys might know what freaking time it is yeah man yeah 50 knots and no smoke come on come on that's for you marks that's for you brother hey man i i freaking appreciate it man i'm putting the the trim tabs on asap uh he was telling me that he put these trim tabs on his 42 him and his father and they didn't have haven't had any blowers since they put the trim tabs on so uh we'll give them a shot we'll give them a shot i don't know what i want to do with this guy man I, I might put it in a delta force 35 i might throw it in the freaking ul19 it might be perfect man uh we'll see we'll see hey if you guys have any uh products uh a YouTube channel, anything you want promoted, uh, you know, email me, send me an uh, email in the description. We'll talk about shipping or whatever, and uh, yeah, I'll be glad to help you guys out. Marks, thank you. Y'all check him out on YouTube. He's got one video, but it's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be ironclad or not. I don't know if it's going to be ironclad or not. All right. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. You know, when I get an idea or something in my head, it don't rest until I freaking do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, some things don't work out. Some things do. So, I mean, I'm only lightening the boat up a couple of grams. Okay, I'm only lightening up a couple of grams. So, it's not that big of a deal. But I figured the black would match the carbon fiber and everything on the boat. So, uh, I'm going to go with it. Let's, uh, let's, let's try to make a turn fin. All right, I'm going to make a quick turn fin. I'm just going to kind of briefly show you guys what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, yeah. The metal, the stainless I have, it's a lot thicker. So, it should be uh should be ironclad all right the stock one traced out on the left and i got a wide one traced out for the bobo mojo so we're gonna cut out 
the stock fin first, make a fin just to get the boat out there and try out, and then we'll make the bobo in a later, later on in another video. So I got my turn fin basically clamped on the bench here and I'm using a cutoff wheel all right uh, opposed to a, a flap wheel or a grinding disc I think it I got a little bit more control with it and I'm just kind of hitting it at an angle right here the same angle all the way down till I get it razor sharp I'm doing okay I got it kind of sanded up and polished up uh, probably need to sand it a little bit more but i've got it like super freaking sharp man got it super sharp i got a nice little uh leading edge like the angle on my leading edge it's it's like uh long and drawn out all right so I get a nice uh slice through the water i made it a little bit wider okay just a little bit wider on the bottom uh maybe it'll kind of grab the water a little bit better the next the next fin we make is going to be the curved fin, the Bobo Mojo. So I'm going to get it on the boat. All right, so the thickness of the stainless steel that I use is 0.9 millimeters. Stock turn fin thickness is 7 millimeters. My ironclad turn fin, done. All right done carbon fiber steering rod buttoned up all right it looks freaking streamlined huh ironclad i'll see you guys at the pond all right i'll see you at the pond huh got the ul19 with the spectrum smart packs in it all right 5100c twins okay these things have got some power y'all they got some power you're gonna run these batteries through uh anything you run them through anything you need to make sure you got some cooling you, that, that the that the, the electronics is going to freaking handle them because these things got some freaking power there's a link in the description where you can get these batteries all right if you get the batteries through the channel it helps me out so uh think about it think about it let's get it let's freaking get it let me quit jacking my freaking jaws let's freaking get it i got my batteries pushed forward to keep the boat down All right, I'm not gonna run any hatch tape, so there may be a little bit of water in the boat. This thing does pretty good keeping the water out. Also, this, this linkage rod is a little thinner than the old linkage rod, so the boot, where it goes through the boot, uh, it might not be ideal. That, that steering rod might not be ideal. We're gonna check it out, we're gonna check it out. All right. Oh, let me. Well, we're gonna check temps. I'm gonna be checking temps a lot, you guys. We'll do a couple passes, check temps. Do a couple more passes, check temps. Take it easy first, so I can scare the turtles away. Oh, it, yeah. The boat seems like it's running straight with that turn fin. Uh. After I had bent the, the original turn fin, the boat wanted to like run, run crooked. Okay, so, so far so good with the turn fin. I'm gonna do a couple passes, check temps. You know how I am when I put new batteries and electronics in a boat. Gotta check those temps. New ESC, new turn fin. That turn fin's a little bit thicker. It's gonna make, create more drag. Ooh, it's turning good. Success. Oh man, look at that thing, beast, son, beast. All right, last lap. I gotta check temps. Plenty of cooling coming out. Oh, that thing's beast. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. It feels good. All right, so 106, 106, 89 on the motor, 101, 97 on the speed control, 84, the caps, 84, 
93, 106, 110 on this side. All right. Oh, it seems good. The wires, 96, back of the motor here, 76. Nice, nice, that's nice. Yeah, the temps are good. The temps are good. That's good. The ironclad coolant run is working, okay? It's working. Um, if you guys notice, I don't have my, like, I could have, like, zip-tied my wires down flat on my ESC here, but I, I chose to, like, wrap them, like, zip-tie them together and then put another zip-tie in between the ESC and the wires so they're kind of free-moving and they're not going to add any excessive heat to the ESC, zip-tying them down flat, you know what I'm saying? Like, zip-tying them down flat to the ESC like that. So I kind of got them uh, lifted up. I got the camera zoomed in. I hope I catch everything. A little bit windy out here today. Temps were good, so let's, let's freaking get it. Man, it's turning good with that turn fin. Nice. Nice. The, the rudder seems like it's working. You know, the, the, the rod, I got plenty of steering, plenty of right hand throw. All right, plenty of right hand throw. Yeah. All right, let's check our left turn. Oh, let's check our left turn. With that, with that steering rod, that's what we were having trouble with. The left turn. All right, it's got a good left turn. It's not, it don't feel like it's like uh, turning and then letting loose. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got a solid turn the whole, the whole way through. All right. Ooh. See what she'll do on a speed pass here. I've, um, I've sharpened the propeller up quite a bit. I've thinned it out quite a bit and uh, that should help with heat too. All right, speed pass. She's staying down. She's staying down. I let off of a little bit. Nice. Oh, man, she's running good, you guys. She's running good, y'all. She's running good, y'all. She's running good, y'all. One more lap and we'll check temps. Plenty of cooling coming out. Thing just sprayed me. Just sprayed me. All right, let's check temps. Look at all that freaking flow coming out, y'all. Yeah, it had a good left turn, you know. Um, I'm sure there was a little bit of flex in the rod on a left turn, but it did good. Jeez, 45 on freaking 6S, are you kidding me? So, uh, so we definitely need to start fine-tuning the boat now okay we definitely need to start fine-tuning it um, now that I know that the boat will take 6s all right let's check the temps so 114 83 on the caps 106 on the caps all right the wires 94 the motor a little warm on the motor 124 109 back in bell 114 within operating range, all right? So now, now that we know that the boat's gonna take 6S, all right, we know it's gonna take 6S, we know uh, what she's doing, all right, we need to pick up on the speed, okay? It, I know it'll do better than 45 freaking miles per hour, I know it will, all right? Um, we'll start fine-tuning the strut, getting it in the prime position, all right? See if we're creating too much drag back here with the blast pickup, it might need to go up some, or, or or in some maybe even shorten this up get some weight off of there uh, start fine-tuning the boat trying to get some speed all right I've been I've done nothing but just prepping the boat up for success you know what I'm saying running the cooling lines and all that so now we know that's good let's start we'll start uh, eventually here shortly we'll start tuning the boat for speed and I really didn't open it up just now I really didn't that straightaway, I was just kind of feeling the boat out. I wanted, I didn't want it to flip or nothing. All right, so 45, okay, 45. I don't feel like messing with the strut today. So let's move the batteries back a hair, see if that helps, because I got them all the way forward. 
mess around with our center of gravity okay um, I got a bigger ESC in here this ESC is much heavier than the stock ESC okay so uh, we'll move the batteries back see how that does with our speed Full trigger, got a little squirrely, I had to let off of it. Oh, moving those batteries back definitely sp sped up the boat. Definitely sped up the boat. All right, she's wanting to pull to the right. Yeah, she's wanting to hook a little bit to the right, and I think that's the drag created from that turn fin. Our rudder kicked up there. I was wondering why I lost steering just by moving the batteries back a little bit. We might have picked up a couple miles an hour. Okay, so that's more like it, boys. That's more like it. 54, 54, okay? That's more like it. I'm like, what, 45? I moved my batteries back, get the CG back a little bit. So that's pretty good, 54, come on. Yeah, man, that's more like it, son. This boat, it's not, it's not like anything you've ever drove before. It's completely different than anything out there, man. It's freaking awesome. All right, so my, 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 my rudder, my rudder uh, nylon breakaway screw broke off. What I've been using is basically an, an antenna tubes. All right, I buy a whole pack of them, and uh, you get them for a couple bucks. All right, and you get this antenna tube and stick it in that hole right there. All right, boom. Okay, boom, and then you cut it off. You cut it off. Leave a little bit on each side. All right, and then what I do, I'll open up both sides so it don't fall out. All right, I just flared that side, and I flare this side all right that'll prevent it from coming out okay when it breaks or if it breaks uh it's not gonna rip the whole rudder off cheap very cheap i got a whole pack of them for like two dollars man way cheaper than nylon plastic breakaway nuts it works just as good and uh yeah man yeah so let's do another pass let's check our voltage first make sure we got voltage here All right, enough for one more pass. One more little pass. Yeah, boys, y'all been waiting for uh for 6S in this boat, man. Y'all been waiting on it. I have been too, man. I've just been trying to get the boat right. You know, just trying to get the boat right before I throw 6S on her. Oh, man. Success, 100C. Full trigger, full trigger. Nice. My temps were good. That 150 is a good upgrade for this boat, y'all. It's a cheap upgrade. A cheap ESC upgrade, man. And that motor's taking it, man. That six pole dynamite motor's taking it, y'all. Look at all that flow coming out, boys. Yeah, yeah. Get it, bull. Get it, bull. Get it, bull. All right, power cut. That's our batteries. Nice, nice. Oh, man, this boat's freaking boss, y'all. Oh, man, there's a link in the description for this freaking boat, you guys. Check it out, man. Build this thing with me. Run it with me, y'all. Run it with me. Uh, if you want to run it through with 6S, you're going to have to upgrade to ESC. It comes good stock out the box for 4S, but if you want to... If you want it to run, you're going to have to upgrade the ESC just to be safe. And then you'll have a, a 120 Dynamite for, for another build. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went ahead and took mine out so I didn't mess it up. You know, that way we'll have it for a future project. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, so 53, 53, to, I stand behind these packs. I really do. They got plenty of power. They always balance out. All of my cells and all the new packs I recently got, they've, they've all been within like one millivolt of one another. Um, great, great upgrade for any, any RC platform. Smart technology batteries, man. They took a lot of the guesswork out for us, man. They got plenty of power. You guys seen it, man. This 50, 54, 55 mile an hour, and they got plenty of runtime. I like them. I freaking like them. Boat gang, boat gang, we don't need no wheels. All we need is blades to make our vessel squeal. Boat gang, boat gang, we don't need no wheels. All we need is blades to throw a rooster tail. While y'all boys sitting on the hill, we be throwing bees for boat gang for real. <laughs> Oh, this thing's freaking a monster, y'all. It's a monster. On video, I know you guys are like, what the hell, B? What the hell? I'll let you go. B, for Boat Gang. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. See you next time, boys.